What a day for sports on Fox here at the Dallas Metroplex as Jason Garrett, head coach of the Cowboys, leads his team on the field looking to get even on the year as they take on the St. Louis Rams. And Romo on a delay, hands up to Murray, to Marco Murray. Going all the way for the touchdown. 91 yards for the score. Here's what he does really well. He sells pass here. It looks like pass all the way. That freezes the linebackers. Good block by 24, the fullback Tony Fiametta. And DeMarco Murray does the rest of the work, making Quinton Michael the safety beat. Then he uses that speed to go all the way to the end zone. Great play and execution by the Dallas Cowboys. And that's the longest play from scrimmage of the season for the Cowboys. And there is the fake on Quentin Michael. And Jason Garrett loves what he sees. And the Cowboys, who are hemmed in in their own territory, break free and take the lead. Hand it off to Murray. And Murray gets a lot of that yard. Yardage back out to the 36. Murray, the rookie from Oklahoma, the third round pick on the pitch on the first play of the third quarter. And is brought down at the 26 by Josh Gordy after picking up about six yards. There's the pitch going to Murray off the left side. And there's the speed that DeMarco Murray shows. And in Oklahoma, he scored a lot of touchdowns for his team and picks up 19 yards before Darian Stewart brings him down. Well, Jason Garrett told us, new offensive line, smaller. we got to go to some misdirection and some runs to the outside. Here's misdirection for you. You flip one way, you flip it back to Murray. Open field. Nice job by Jason Garrett, by DeMarco Murray, Murray of executing. Hand off to Murray. Murray with the first down, not satisfied with just moving the chains, gets some more as he carries it to the 32 of St. Louis. Chris Chamberlain, the weak side linebacker, starting in place of Ben Lieber today, but a gain of 10 for Murray, who has picked up 150 on the day. Well, we're getting tremendous audio of Tony Romo calling everything at the line of scrimmage. He's putting them in the right situation, getting, the, getting in the right play. And it's working. DeMarco Murray helps when he's running hard, breaking tackles. But Tony Romo doing a great job. 14. For Dallas, leading by 13. The pitch going to DeMarco Murray. Murray! Tiptoeing down the sideline, stays in bounds, gets a first down. And 19 before he's finished with Quinton Michael pushing him out of bounds. Big play by Murray there. Well, Jason Garrett told us we've got to get used to our new offensive line. We're smaller, we're quicker. As a result, we need to do misdirection. We need to run outside. Fiametta, the fullback, doing a great job getting a hat on. James Lornitis and DeMarco Murray continues to run the ball outstanding. 172 yards now for DeMarco Murray. This is the balance that Jason Garrett and this Cowboys offense have been looking for. Murray has handled most of the ball carrying duties. He gets the call again, going up the middle and spins his way to the 38 before Stewart brings him down, gain of five. Here is Murray, steady dose of Murray. What a show he's put on, he gets the first down in the first quarter. And here's a delay to Murray, who brings it out to the 48-yard line. We have a first down on the 22, and DeMarco Murray having a banner game, still trying to break out of the pack. Michael brings him down hard after a gain of five. Taking a look at the Cowboy offensive leaders, Romo's touchdown pass was to Witten. Bryant has been the big play man. And how about Murray with 187 yards? That's third highest for a rookie. Uh, we've seen the breakout runs, but this is even more impressive. Look at this. Keeping those pistons firing, keeping the legs going. DeMarco Murray really showing that, hey, I want to be the guy at the running back position for the Dallas Cowboys. Second down and five. They go again to Murray. Murray breaks it! What a cut by Murray! And finally goes down at around the 30-yard line. And hope he's all right because uh, didn't see anyone get to him to make a tackle, but he went down and appears to be 
okay. He got 43 yards on that play. Well, we just talked about the second effort. Here's another example. And then he throws the explosion on top of it. Josh Gordy can't get him. And then the speed goes to work. And I'm with you, Dick. It looks like he pulls a hamstring or something because he just kind of falls down here. I think maybe just trying to protect the football. He's probably tired. He hasn't run this much in a while. Well, I'll tell you what he's done. He is the third 200-yard rusher in Cowboys history. And he's two behind Emmett Smith's record of 237. Murray on the pitch. And here is Murray, and he's going to move ahead of Emmett Smith all time. Be a yard shy of the first down, gets nine yards. So he has a 234. That's seven more than Emmett Smith got in the game. 244 yards. That's not a bad guy to be passing, <laughs> by the way. The all time NFL leading rusher, Emmett Smith. And DeMarco Murray just ran right by him. 277 total yards. Most rush yards in the NFL this season. That's what Jason Garrett's looking for. Second down and one. 646 on the clock. And that's not all the Cowboys uh, have achieved in this game en route to a, a rare breather for them. Here's Murray again going outside, turning the corner. First down. And Murray is down at the 20. The spark. And it appears as if Christian Ponder's doing it. First down at the 20 of the Rams. Cowboys leading 27 to 7. And here's DeMarco Murray. Well, Murray's a yardage here, and he's added, he had, uh, he's over 250 now in the game. And he has uh, picked up three, so he has 252 yards, and the Cowboys. 285 yards are the best by any individual and any team this year in the league. Murray goes to the bench and uh, high fives all around for a memorable game for DeMarco Murray. They dropped their last seven. And by virtue of the win today, the Cowboys will go into a second place tie with the Washington Redskins at three and three with the Giants, who had a bye today, 4-2. The Eagles, 2-4, with a bye as well. Tight NFC East, 34-7, to seven, the final score. For John Lynch and Jennifer Hale, Dick Stockton saying so long, and right now, let's send you to Minnesota for Tom Brenneman and Troy Aikman, the conclusion of that game.